Hey, what is up, y'all? It is Josh here, and I am here to give you another side hustle idea that has a very small upfront cost, is very low maintenance, and has huge possible passive income returns. So let's jump right into it, which is domain flipping. Now, I'm going to walk you step by step how to find domains to flip, how to purchase them, and how to sell them. So step number one is obviously going to be finding your domains to flip. Um, so you're going to go to expireddomains.net is one of your options. Once here, you're going to create a free account. just requires email and password. You're going to go into domain search. And as you saw, you're going to type in something that is a common business, such as marketing, or it could be uh, advisor, or it could be store, or it could be, I don't care. You know, It's just a common business that people are going to need when they open businesses. You're going to go to... Once you've typed in, sorry, I'm going a little faster. Show filter, additional, and dot com, apply filter. Only one dot com businesses. And now here you have a whole bunch of websites that are expired and up for sale. Over here you have your prices, so you can go through and look at ones that you want to buy and see if you like them. Now something you can do here is because not all of these are going to be ones that you want to like bid an auction for. Because remember, this has all been purchased, so you have to auction for this. Let's say you like, uh, let's find a good one that's easy to talk about here. All right, let's say you like ambassadorsmarketing.com, but you don't want to go through the bidding process and you just want to come up with something similar to ambassadorsmarketing.com to try and sell. You can rearrange that word however many times you want. So you could change that into marketingambassadors.com. You could try promarketingambassadors.com. You could try themarketingambassadors.com. You could try foreverambassadorsofmarketing.com. I mean, it's, there's endless possibilities. You don't want to go usually for what is exactly is on this website, but what it does is it gives you ideas for how to reword different domains so they sound right and they'll still be profitable premium domains that you can sell for huge profit. Now, if you do not like expired domains option, there's a few other options. Another one is going to Google and typing in like the 200 largest cities in the United States or United Kingdom or Scotland. I don't, it depends on what country you're from. And what you're just going to do is scroll through. Now, one thing you're going to want to avoid is going for the biggest cities, obviously, because let's take New York City, for example. And if you type in New York marketing, as you can see, it's a premium domain. Well, I got to finish typing in marketing. Now check this out. NewYorkMarketing.com is for sale at $18,000. So obviously you're not going to be able to compete with that unless you have a much larger budget. And if you do, you're not really going to be able to turn it around and sell it for much. Um, I would recommend staying away from .NETs or really anything else unless you want to really risk it. But you never know. So let's avoid the bigger cities. So go back to your list of whatever country you're in. And I usually like to scroll down until probably under the 50 so you could go to like Cleveland, for example, has a population of 376 and you can start typing in um, businesses that might be opening and needing a website in Cleveland. So you could type in um, touristofcleveland.com, you know, some tourist places trying to open there and want to buy do your domain. You could type in burgersatcleveland.com or you could type in marketing Cleveland, Cleveland marketer. Uh, store.cleveland.com you know you can, there's endless possibilities and you just keep rearranging it and buying as many as you feel like might sell over time or like Corpus Christi for example that's a that's a coastal city you could just, you could do uh, surfcorpuschristi.com corpuschristisurfing.com waves at corpuschristi.com I mean the options are endless another way you can do it is type in fastest growing cities in whatever country you're in. Now this way you know that there's gonna be a lot of businesses opening in fast growing cities, right? So you go in and you type in the fastest growing cities. So like right here from 2010 to July 2019, Frisco, Texas is a fast growing city. So you could do friscomarketing.com and hope that Frisco grows to the point where someone opens a marketing company. Um, you got Cedar Park, Texas. Wow, it seems like Texas is really grown. And you could type in Cedar Park Burgers say someone's going to open a burger joint in Cedar Park and they want that. 
Then you just type in Cedar Park Burgers. You could type in cedarparktourist.com. This is a great way to get domains in a place that is growing fast. So that is basically how you're going to get a domain name that has a possibility of selling within, well, hopefully within a year. I mean, this isn't like a fast return usually. So once you've chosen one, you're always going to come over here and you're going to start typing it in. So let's try Cedar Park Marketing. All right, so that's taken. Um, let's try. What are some of those other cities? Frisco. 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 Marketing. Taken. You can change it up. You can type in marketing. Frisco. All right, so I'm just going to do this one. Not that I think it's the best domain out there. But I'm gonna go for it just to show you how it is do it. So once you have it, you're gonna have your domain right here, obviously. Make sure it's the dot com. Eleven ninety nine for first year. Press get it. Continue to cart. You are gonna want the domain protection, but you do not need well, actually. Yeah, you already want the domain protection unless you think you're gonna do a fast turnaround. But you never know. So get the domain protection. Continue to cart. You're going to want to remove random domains you accidentally added, like so. Didn't mean to add New York marketing. And you're going to want to change that to one year. Perfect. And once you've done that, you have an uh, upfront cost of about $21. So I'm going to buy this real quick and I'll jump back to you once I'm through the purchasing process. Alright, so here we are at what you've done once you've purchased the domain name and so from here you can go to home and type in and uh, not type in press domains and once here it's going to have all of your domains so as you can see i've purchased a few just for fun kicks and giggles here's my marketingfrisco.com you're going to click list for sale get started entered your price now estimated value is what it could technically sell for but I would prefer a little bit faster of a turnaround. So I don't usually list my domain for what the estimated value is. So what I would do is probably in the hundreds. So if you want a quick turnaround, you can list it for like 90 bucks and you have a better chance of it selling fast because then other domain flippers are likely to buy it knowing that they might be able to get 800. But I like the mid range. So I would probably list it for, let's do 329 for kicks and giggles. Press next, enable for sale page. Publish listing, and then you get your verification code. So let me pull that up right here. All right, perfect. Boom. And now, as you can see, this is my main account. I have a whole bunch more for sale elsewhere. But this is what it'll look like. Estimated value USD, listing price, uh, floor price not set, doesn't matter. And then you got listed for sale. If it gets sold, it'll pop up over here. And then boom, quick, easy way. I mean, you could get 40 domains up for sale in one day of eight hours of work. Doesn't cost that much, it cost me 23 bucks to buy this domain. So all you really need is Let's say you have $100 extra cash, you can buy four domains, each one you can list for $500, and yeah, more than likely you're not getting a week turnaround, you're not getting two weeks turnaround. You're probably looking at anywhere from a few months to even a year, maybe two years. But this is pure passive income where you have a chance of turning $20 into $800. It's not talked about very much, and I don't know why. It's really easy. Jump in on this, 
go to GoDaddy, start looking up domains, come up with ideas, start flipping, start making money. Thanks for watching.